In this video, I'm going to show you how to set hard drive groups on your NVR. So here right now, I have one camera recording on the top left-hand side, and I'm going to show you how to get in the main menu, and then look at storage, and go under disk manager. Here it lists out that I have eight hard drives. You can see them listed here, one through eight, and which port on the NVR they are on at the moment. And, of course, you can also see that the health status is normal. Right now, um, they're in what's called a JBOD mode. It's just a bunch of disks. And they're going to record all the cameras that's on, that are on this 32-channel VR will first get recorded to the first hard drive, and then the second, the third, onto the eighth, and then loop back onto the first one. Now, the problem with that is if you have 32 cameras or 64 and you, you are recording, let's say, more than just eight cameras at a time, one hard drive cannot record that many cameras reliably and not have frame skipping, especially if you have more than, um, your, your cameras, if they're more than 1080p resolution. So the thing that we recommend doing is setting a disk group. So this NVR has the latest firmware on there, and this is what the interface looks like. This is our new generation uh, NVR interface here. So if once you go into disk group, it lets you um, assign each device name, which is actually just the hard drive, and what port it's on to a disk group. So what you can do is set the first two drives on A and B to disk group one, on C and D to disk group two, E and F to three, and G and H to four. So what I've done is divided the hard drives into four groups containing two hard drives each. And there are eight hard drive slots or SATA slots on this NVR and they accommodate up to 10 terabytes each. I have 80 terabytes in here. I basically assigned groups of 20 terabytes each now. Now under mainstream, I can tell the NVR to record the mainstream from certain cameras. So I have a total of 32 possible cameras that can be attached to this NVR. And I can tell this NVR where to record each camera stream to. So I'm gonna divide 32 by four, that's eight. So basically, I'm going to have the first eight cameras go to group one, so I'm going to leave that alone. The next eight cameras go to group two. And then the next eight cameras go to group three. and then the next eight cameras to group four. Once that's done, hit apply. So now what this will do is start recording the mainstream, that's the high resolution stream from the cameras to the different hard drives so that um, you don't have more than eight cameras recording to one set of two hard drives and you don't have frame skipping. You could do that for the substream too if you're recording the substream. I'm not. And you could also do that to the snapshot as well. Doing hard drive grouping also reduces the chances of losing all your video if one of the hard drives goes bad. Because now the, hard, the video from each set of cameras is being recorded to different hard drives. Once that's done, I'm just gonna exit that menu, come back here, make sure my changes were applied. And they were, everything's in groups now. Now in the record mode, this lets you choose how you're recording your cameras. When you have everything on auto for mainstream, that means it'll follow whatever motion detection schedule you set up or calendar, or if you have smart detection set up using our video analytics on our security cameras. Substream is usually off. If some of your NVRs off, or cameras offer substream too, that's usually off too and snapshot as well. If you were to turn on Substream and Snapshot and you want to, it to be grouped as well, you would do the same exact thing that I just did for the mainstream in these two menus. And that's pretty much it. So on this NVR, I already had some video there uh, being recorded on just the JBOD. And I set the hard drive grouping. And I started this video about, or video recording, uh, about 20 minutes ago. I'm gonna go back to search and see if I see video there.
and I do. I, I see video here. So it actually kept my original video that I had.